March Inventory Madness has put Lady Luck on your side. Premier Heating and Air has a huge limited inventory offer on new heating and air units until they're gone. Don't wait. Find Lucky in your mailbox or online at premiereshere.com. The choice is clear. Experience Premier. Welcome to the Dublin City School St. Patrick's Reading Motorcade. I'm Jason Holcomb and I'm joined right now by our lead learner and Georgia State Superintendent of the Year, Dr. Fred Williams. Doc, readers are leaders and leaders are readers. Uh, talk about from your lens and the work that you've done on literacy across your career, what these events mean to you personally to have the community out so strongly. Uh, it's a tremendous thing to be able to get the community to come into our schools and be able to share their time and their talent, reading to our young people and just unlocking the world uh, for our young people through literacy and, and literature. And so we're always excited when we can get people to come in and read and, and help our young people understand how uh, reading will, you know, really shape their destiny. Now we've got a plethora of things that we work on with our literacy outreach. We've got book nooks, we've got little libraries, uh, we read to daycares, we also this year partnered with Rotary on the Read the Lead program. As a member of that civic organization, uh, how does it make you feel to have uh, your Rotary brothers and sisters championing literacy in this way? Uh, Rotary International is a tremendous organization and in, in, in Dublin uh, Rotary Club is a stellar uh, entity here in our community as well. And just want to thank all the fellow Rotarians uh, for you know putting uh, all their heart and soul into helping our young people uh, be able to become readers and lifelong learners. Uh, we know that one of our core missions has been to eradicate uh, polio, but here in Dublin we're also eradicating their literacy. And the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about briefly is this new uh, heightened effort to work against dyslexia. You know, I know you and several people in our district went through and obtained a dyslexia endorsement, uh, and more than anything it's trying to be able to identify early and then work through literacy to positively affect that. Talk to me about the things that we're doing as a district to, to hopefully positively impact that area. Uh, we have uh, high quality instructional materials. Uh, we have a screener which is a cadence. Uh, we have a dyslexia task force and I was very fortunate to participate in the dyslexia endorsement. I am dyslexia endorsed to be able to recognize the characteristics of dyslexia uh, to help our young people uh, mitigate those those characteristics so that they can be successful uh, in their in their school schooling and school career and I just want to thank all of those who are getting their endorsements uh, we're trying to make sure uh, within the next five years that every K through five teacher uh, is dyslexia and or reading endorsed and and the very last thing I'll say before we go typically when you go in a classroom I see I think it's the foot book is that the one? What, what's your? Is that your go-to book? My, that's my go-to, Dr. Seuss, the foot book. That's my Lexile level. Left foot, left foot, <laughs> left foot, right. Feet in the morning, feet at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just so excited to be able to share this uh, literacy opportunity with the community, and more importantly, that the community is taking time out of their day to positively affect the children in our school district right here at the St. Patrick's Reading Motorcade. Hi guys, we're here at the annual St. Patrick's Reading Motorcade at Dublin High School. Uh, this is a Dublin City Schools event, and this is the first year that it's been on the St. Patrick's calendar of events. We've got people coming in right now, but I wanted to take a minute to introduce a couple of our greeters and some of our finest uh, cadets here with our Air Force JROTC. This is Cadet Commander Marion and Cadet Revelle. Y'all, go ahead and introduce yourselves formally and talk about how reading has impacted your life. Uh, hello, I'm Cadet Marion, and reading has impacted my life because um, I'm just able to imagine things a lot better, and I feel more creative, um, and it also helps my thinking because um, certain stuff that I just read, it just, it just um, helps me plan out scenarios. I don't know. Quite What's one of your favorite books? Um, it's called, it's hard to remember, Fallen. Oh, very cool, very cool. Interesting, intriguing. What about you? Uh, well, I do read a lot since me, I'm looking at colleges like Thomasville University. I'm looking to play soccer there. 
Oh, wow. And so I'm looking over, reading over, like, what kind of things they do at their school and how their soccer program performs. Now, talk about uh, people who've made an impact in your life through reading. It, it could be a teacher. It could be a parent, a grandparent. Talk about those people that have made a difference in your life because of reading and literacy. Um, my auntie, she always helped me read a lot. She provided me with a lot of books. Um, she's the reason I have a mini library at home. Ooh. Um, yeah, uh, I've always bonded with her over reading, and I feel like that just impacted our relationship a lot. Um, it made us a lot closer. Can I name two people? Yeah. One would be my grandpa. We would read comics a lot when I was younger, and that helped me a lot. And another person would be Sergeant Long. He, like, preaches, like, at least take a couple minutes out of your day to read and just to help us improve in life overall. Yeah, you know, Dr. Williams talks about, uh, I think it's a Harry Truman quote, that readers are leaders and leaders are readers. And we couldn't be more excited than to get the chance to have the community come share that love of literacy with our students across our district. And we'll be talking more and to more people here across the day right here at the Reading Motorcade. Welcome back to the Dublin City Schools St. Patrick's Reading Motorcade. I'm joined now with St. Patrick's Festival representative Tammy Ray Waverick. Uh, Tammy with an I. We talked about that just a second ago. Uh, Tammy, talk about uh, being able to incorporate literacy into this year's St. Patrick's Festival and how that's meaningful to y'all. That it's great. It's uh, an honor to participate um, in this program and give the proclamation and rumor has it lucky may show up today so that would be great and it's just a great way to reach out to the the younger generation and share St. Patrick's as well as reading. Yeah my my first memory of St. Patrick's was the year that I moved here uh, WMAZ used to do live remotes and Frank Malloy and <laughs> Tina Hicks uh, and Bill Powell were standing outside of Dublin Junior High doing a live remote at the Pancake Supper. And that has been, I've told Frank for years, that's just a, a formative memory for me. And my hope is that today's events will, will be able to inspire a similar formative memory for these kids. Talk about getting the opportunity to share the love of literacy with children across our community and how important that is. It, it's very important. It's um, building our leaders uh, for future generations. And uh, certainly, I've found that um, children are so attracted to Lucky, so I'm excited that he can participate today and just kind of share the love of books. Now, he has a, he has a dual-sided effect on people. Uh, yes. There are some of my children, personally, who are uh, very much intrigued by him, and then there are some that are very afraid of him. That is true. It is all or nothing. Um, we've, we've definitely found that over the past few weeks. But um, this uh, coming up this week, we are, we are on go, and um, we're going to be touching a lot of uh, children's lives this week. So we're excited. Yes, and we'll be hitting different spots. You'll be seeing... Uh, the cameras visiting different classrooms and I'm very grateful to Tammy and all the St. Patrick's Festival Committee for the work that they put in to make sure that our community is green and growing like it needs to be for these kids. Um, so Tammy, thank you so much for joining well, us. Well, thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Meg Greer Evans with Middle Georgia Estate Planning here in Dublin, Georgia. At Middle Georgia Estate Planning, we focus on estate planning, which covers the creation of wills, powers of attorney, and health care directives as well as the creation of revocable or irrevocable trusts. We also specialize in elder law and can assist with guardianships and conservatorships, as well as asset protection for those that are looking to their elder years in life and wondering how they'll plan for their care. If you have any questions about estate planning or elder law or how you can protect your assets for your care and the future of your family, give us a call at 478 Two seven two two eight eight five. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. 
Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson, and we've been baking here at Williamson's Bakery since 1927. In 1965, my grandfather, Merle Williamson, hung our name on this bakery. Ever since then, people have been stopping in for the Williamson's tradition. We invite you to do the same here at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, or catch us on Facebook, or just come get you some. It may be cold elsewhere, but the deals are hot here at Dublin Chevrolet GMC. As you can see, New shipments are coming in weekly to Dublin Chevrolet GMC. So make sure and get to Dublin quick because as you can see, they're rolling out of here fast. You ask for more inventory and we've delivered. Whether it's the most iconic Chevrolet ever made or the new Chevy Blazer EV, we have it here at Dublin Chevy GMC. And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy GMC. products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. Green and growing. Farmers State Bank has been helping our community grow for more than 88 years. Relationship banking that values neighbors with quality services. From personal banking to business loans, whatever your banking needs, Lawrence County's leader in banking is Farmers State Bank. Banking is as easy as FSB, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. We're back here with the Dublin City Schools Reading Motorcade, and I'm joined by Director of Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Marcy Poole. Ms. Poole, you have uh, a lot of deep-rooted efforts involved in the literacy that we do here at Dublin City Schools, in particular, uh, the outreach work that we do. Uh, talk about our, our book nooks and our little libraries and reading to daycares and, and just how impactful that has been for the children in our area. So we're super excited about the Reading motorca Motorcade today. Um, we have been on this literacy journey for quite a while. Uh, we have several book nooks around in our community and also um, the little libraries around town. Um, our, our students benefit from those. Um, if they live in that area, they can go and get books out of there and not have to be transported to our, our town library. So it's, it's very convenient for them. The book nooks, they're um, in different businesses around town. So while they're waiting on their parents, they can read um, and their parents can read to them. We have started uh, where we go into 11 different daycares in our community and we read and do different activities with them. And um, those are students that we think will probably be coming to Dublin City Schools. And so we want to make sure that they are ready as well as every other student in our community is ready for school and have that rich vocabulary um, to be prepared. Um, so a lot of good things going on. We have the Big Green Reading Machine yes. that will be in the parade um, this weekend on Super Saturday. And so we're super excited about that. We usually try to put that in the parade um, each, each time we have one here in Dublin. So. Now, on a more personal note, what's a, what's a book that you remember from your youth? I, I could name a, a list of books that impacted me, but what's a book that, that still touches the heartstrings when you think back? Well, there's just so many. Um, I, I think back to whenever I first started teaching in The Hungry Caterpillar because ah, I started in, yes. in pre-K teaching. And so I just love that book and what it brings to the table for kids. So. Yeah, I, um, I have several copies of that at my house. And, uh, and, and lastly, uh, talk about from a, from a personal perspective what it means to you to have these people. You know, we're going to have roughly two dozen here today going into different classrooms. What does that mean to you personally to 
have these people take time out of their day to come read to our children. Yeah, it, it's just amazing to see so many faces, a lot of retired educators coming in this morning, just community members and business people. It just makes us know that the whole community is involved in educating our students and we're so excited about that because it takes a whole village to, to educate our students. That it does. Well, Ms. Poole, thank you so much and thank you for all that you do to help us get the word out about the value of literacy and we'll be back here in just a moment. I'm joined right now by our outreach person, Ms. Seal Best. Uh, she's a retired educator who isn't really that retired, but uh, Ms. Seal, you know, as somebody who spent three decades in the classroom, what inspired you to want to still be out there and be touching the lives of children? Well, one of my favorite parts of being a kindergarten teacher was getting to read books and seeing the children enjoy the books and, and just doing that still, being able to go out into the community and, and read to classes, and I, I just still love doing that. I know, and one of my favorite things in the world is when you will send a message to myself and Miss Poole uh, showing one of the many daycares, I think 11 and all that you visit, uh, to say what book you've read or what lesson they're learning through the book. Uh, imagine what I'm feeling is, is minuscule compared to what you feel when you get to go into these daycares. Well, and they get so excited when uh, we used to be able to carry the, grid, the big green read machine around to all of them. And they would be looking out the windows and they'd see that bus pull up. And, um, but now we go into the nurseries and this year we started um, something a little different. We carry a craft with us or, or something special uh, relating to the season or to the book we're reading. And um, I think they're enjoying that as well as us going in and reading the books to them. And then we leave the book with them. So See, that's awesome. we add to their libraries. <laughs> and, and so talk about for you personally, what's a book that, that still tugs on you? What's a book that still like, every time you see it you want to read it whether it's a children's book or just a book in general oh gosh there's so many of them and and you know every season they come up with a new one but i have noticed that a lot of the kids for the past two years they love you know anything with pete the cat uh, yes. Pete the cat yes. so you know we've tried to give a few of those books out but but we're introducing them to a lot of other books um there are a lot of the the night before books, yes. which is what I brought today the night before St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to read that and see how that one goes over. Yeah, I'm not going to give it away um, about trying to catch a leprechaun. We've, we've, we've read similar books like that before. Uh, and talk about now, you know, as your family continues to expand, you know, you're a grandma and congratulations, gonna, looks like it's going to be happening again In here September, soon. In September it is, um, yes. Talk about being able to push that love of literacy down to another generation? Well, you know, thank goodness my kids love to read. Um, they, especially the little girls, my little granddaughters, they love to go to, you know, the library has the summer program and we go join yes. up and they love getting books. They get as many as they can and take them home and, and read them. And I have a four-year-old and a, a nine-year-old granddaughters that just love to read, thank goodness. That I'll probably see on a golf cart if like the mayor, oh, yeah. yeah the, oh, 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 Mr. Phil finds a way to, to corral everybody on the golf cart That's at the right. parade. He, uh, he loves that golf cart. And, uh, and I'll tell you this, as we wrap up, a funny thing at my house, we have so many kids that when they get reading age, they get a library card. Well, we have so many eligible readers that when we go to check out books, we end up with 70 or 80 books. Oh yeah, I bet y'all do. <laughs> we look like we're going to Costco. Well, you know, the, the library book thing is going on yep, right now. The, the book sale is going on. And I've already been once and came, <laughs> I came out with about eight books for $5. So that's a great deal, you know? <laughs> well, we just want to thank everybody, including yourself, for the work that you continue to do to, to challenge people to put books and reading in, in the lives of children. Well, I want to thank the public, too, because, you know, we get a lot of donations from people cleaning out closets and, and getting rid of books, and we, uh, we still need those donations, so keep them coming. We, we appreciate all, all the public does for us in helping build our libraries. Welcome to the Dublin City School St. Patrick's Reading Motorcade. I'm joined right now by Pastor Greg Souls. He's pastor at Christ Chapel Dublin, and, and more importantly, 
uh, from our standpoint is he's working weekly with children uh, as part of a partnership project with Dublin Rotary. It's called Read to Lead. And, and Pastor Greg, talk about how that has affected you positively first. Yeah, well, for me, it's, it's a sense of giving out. Um, I, I am blessed. Um, I feel like for me, I feel like uh, it's rewarding to empower a child with the uh, opportunity to expand the horizon of their imagination and their thoughts to dream big dreams. And that happens through reading and comprehending what they read and uh, dreams are ensuing after that. So it's, it's a lot of fun, very rewarding. And you talk about the Read to Lead program. You get to work with a pair of children weekly. Uh, what would you tell other people about considering participating in this program next year when we put it back out? I would say that if you have any extra time to give at all, this is, this is worth your time. Uh, if, we can, if we can impact a child, change a child's life, uh, we can change the world. If we can give them confidence. Now, on your personal side, uh, what's a book? I mean, we know what the obvious first book choice is going to be if we ask what's your favorite book. Uh, at least I would hope it would be that, that one book that we all try to read every morning. But um, what's another book that stands out as one that had an impact in your life? Could be something from your childhood. It could be something recently. What's a book that has positively affected you? I don't think I can name one book. Um, <laughs> I can just say that reading uh, has always been a big part of my life from, from a child to now. Uh, obviously, being in ministry, I do tons of reading. Um, so I'm constantly going from one flavor to the other. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the Bible is, is my mainstay, uh, but um, I'm, I'm open and I, and I read lots to keep my mind sharp. Now, talk about today's event. This is going to be different. You know, the work you do with Read to Lead actually has a, a, a teaching portion to it as far as, you know, you're helping our educators and some of the work that they're doing in the classroom. Um, how do you feel like today is different? Because you've been, been involved with some of these Read and Motor Ks before. How is today different for you? Yeah, I think just, just traveling, uh, being, being with the team, uh, being supportive. It's important to show up. There's nothing more disappointing than hosting an event and nobody celebrating that. So I get a kick out of hanging out with my peers, those that have a similar interest. I enjoy going to the different campuses. Um, so it's just a great opportunity to show up, be present, be encouraging to others. See, and now he's got me smiling big and broad. I'm excited. So we're going to go check out some of our campuses here over the next little bit. We want to encourage you to participate as well. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wynn Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality product at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. 
With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Moen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin with Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. If you have a question, or if you're looking for a hard to find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. At Georgia First Bank, we understand that experience is everything, and we promise to get it right the first time, every time. Selling a mortgage loan is a big piece of the puzzle when it comes to buying a new home. At Georgia First, we have quick turnaround for approvals, usually 24 to 48 hours. And the reason for that is local decision making. Let Georgia First secure your next mortgage loan. Georgia First Bank, Soperton, Vidalia, and now in Dublin. Georgia First Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. I believe it was a divine calling. <laughs> so ever since I was a little girl, I think it was in me to have the compassion and the heart for it. For me, it's an opportunity to express love and care for someone, and that is returned in multitudes. I just think it's the best job in the whole world. Whenever you're going home, you feel like you like help someone throughout the day. You, you really do mean something to your clients. You get to go in and give them the best version of yourself, you know, the love and the joy that you have, the passion in your heart, and share that with them every day. It's probably the most rewarding career there is. Portions of this program are brought to you by Matt Hatchett, your state representative in District 155. A product of Dublin and Lawrence County, Matt loves the St. Patrick's Festival and has served in many roles throughout his career. But above all else, Matt Hatchett loves serving the people in District 155. And on behalf of Kim, Emily, and Camille, the Hatchett family hopes you and your family enjoy the 59th Annual Dublin Larn St. Patrick's Festival. Aaron Gobra. No insurance, no problem at MedPlus Immediate Care. Sign up for the MedPlus Immediate Care Annual Membership Program. It's not an insurance program, but it's the next best thing. For a $400 annual membership fee, you'll receive two visits that may include any services offered at our clinics. Extra visits are $80. For more information on how to enroll, check us out online at MedPlus Immediate Care or give us a call at 478-377-PLUS. MedPlus Immediate Care with five locations, Dublin, Albany, Eastman, Macon, and Milledgeville. Good morning, boys and girls. Morning. This month of March, we are celebrating in Dublin, St. Can anybody finish it? St. Patrick's. So I am going to be reading a story to you this morning about how to catch a leprechaun. Can you all say that word, leprechaun? Awesome. Okay. How to catch a leprechaun. Okay. Are you all ready? Yeah. I'm going to be asking you some questions as we read this morning. Okay. So let's pay attention and listen with our ear and look with our eye. Okay. Who remembered the title of this story? How to catch a leprechaun. All right. Are you all ready? Okay, awesome. Here we are. The night is dark and the streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. What time of day is it? Nighttime. Okay. 
I'll pull out all of your laces, put glitter to in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. Do you see the gold coins? You see the gold coins? Okay. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be what color? Green. Green. Working his magic. House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. What was the number of house he went in? House number one, okay? And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick. I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house, I fix your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly ache. What house number is this? House number, house number two. Now you're talking, look at this. It's dandelion tea, but I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. You see, I'm getting ready to get that tea. Okay, how many of you drink tea? Anybody like to drink tea? Awesome. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Where is the little boy hiding out in? In a cage. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy but I'll skate with twinkle toes. It's a fancy, pantsy, dancy. What words did y'all hear around? Fancy, pantsy, and dancy. What three words? Fancy, pantsy, dancy. All right, three words. It seemed to me an engineer has helped with this design too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. See? Your entire house is one big trip from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. What time is he getting ready to leave again? What time of day? Nighttime, good, okay. The leprechaun, be gone 3,000, gave me a quite a scare, but without a four leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun impossible that's a fact unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap but who will that child be better luck next year so did they catch the leprechaun this time no, no. And they're told, better luck when? Next time. Next time. Next time. Did you all enjoy that story? Yeah. Awesome. How to catch a what? Yeah. All right. You all were wonderful listeners. Thank you all so much for allowing me to come in and read to you this morning. You all have a wonderful and great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> all right.
Hey, my name's Chandler Gerard. I'm Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. And here at A-Plus Flooring and Construction, we believe in teamwork. Come let our team service you with floor and construction and garage doors. So come shop with us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction at 371 Georgia Highway 338 or visit our website at aplusconstruction.biz. Or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Thank you. Looking for your pot of gold? Look no further than Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay Realty. When it comes to buying or selling your home, Century 21 is the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County. Count on Brian Howell, Charlene Lamp, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Mark Bateman, Kim Thompson, Pamela Lee, Edie Webb, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Raina Dubberly, Yvonne Robertson, or broker George Durden. And you'll be sure to find your pot of gold. Century 21 Durden Cornegay. Log on to C21Dublin.com. Stop by 1700 Veterans Boulevard or call us at 478-272-1535. Century 21 Durden Cornegay. Broker George Durden. Durden Cornegay. Broker George Durden.